Hi there, this is Brian from Enlightened Speed here. Just giving you our next tutorial for our new plugin Melodramatic. This one should be short and sweet. We're simply covering the scales sequencer, which is this lane here at the bottom. So how we've set it, um, just to make things easy to see how it works, we've set it as one bar for the rate. We are on uh, the melodic inverter channel C. And then step for step, you can see that we've programmed an A, B, C, D. So what that will roughly translate to is the first bar will be on scale A, the second on scale B, third on scale C, fourth on scale D. And uh, we're going to use an input source, which should be familiar to just about everyone. Uh, it's the Kalimba Groove. It's the default patch of Polystep. And we're finishing up with a patch off of ID8 for the sound. So just going to quickly give you a listen to how this sounds. <laughs> And that's it. Um, very, very simple. Nice wee riff that it's given you, which obviously sounds nothing like the original kalimba groove. How we've done the scales themselves. Well, each of the scales is controlled by the respective channels here. We have A, B, C and D. Now, at this point, a wee bit of musical knowledge certainly doesn't hurt. You don't need it. You can experiment. But it might speed things up a wee bit for you if you do know a bit. For this, I've basically just gone by the tactic of knowing that one scale isn't so different from the next. So we start with major, blues isn't too far removed from major, and C anyway. Uh, Spanish isn't too far removed from blues, flamenco isn't too far removed from Spanish. And then all I've done is changed the key that these are in, just so it matches up a little better than going C to C to C to C, which wouldn't sound particularly good, and it sounds a bit off, basically. That's it. It's very simple to do. And obviously you get something which is quite a decent bit more interesting than something that sticks in C minor the whole time. And we've used a wee bit of filtering here as well just to cut down the bandwidth a bit. But that's it. So simple stuff. In our next video we'll be talking about the randomizer a bit. But in the meantime, thanks very much for tuning in. And we'll hope to see you again soon. Take care. Bye bye.